I'm it. Hey, uh, what's up? Uh, my name's Ed. Uh, I got first after Swiss in this uh, boat, like post boat case tournament, and I ended up top four splitting. Okay, let's go ahead and show them what you're playing. All right, so I played a uh, Magic Key Drytron, but like very little Magic Key cards. Uh, like here's school? Yeah. Uh, played three Diviner, uh, pretty standard. It's really cool in my deck because I play like a lot of Synchros. Uh, yeah. This is pretty standard. Three Zeta, three Alpha, one Gamma, one Delta. Um, I don't want to start off with uh, Gamma in my combo at any, any time, so it kind of sucks. So I only want to play one. Uh, but I might have to play two now because like, DD Crow is super popular because of the Layerless deck. But this is like super standard ratios. Uh, for the fairy part, a with two heralds, you have to play this. This is the reason why the deck's so good, because you make like a board, you, even if you get droplet or dark ruler, you have double herald and you're able to just like stop them and just have like too much of a grind game. And then the rituals, eat it in, this guy, and that guy, simple. Uh, you, I think you always have to play him because I play uh, I play an uh, extra tuner in my deck, so uh, he's really good, really good in time also. Uh, Harold, the win condition of the deck, just try to summon it ignorantly into backfield and you win. Uh, the hero of the day, Trickonitz, that guy's OP. He uh, attacks over everything. And honestly, he's what I always try to end on. I, I, I usually don't care about Harold because this guy, like, does so much. If I can have, like, this backed up with, like, IP and, like, a counter trap, it's, like, enough. So a lot of times I'm even trying to summon Harold. And then, uh, the star of the show, uh, Magic Key, Mech, Musket, Battle Buster. He's really good because he's a tuner, uh, but most importantly, he switches the counter trap, which stops Dark Ruler, and which stops, um, what is it called, uh, Dark Ruler and Droplets. Uh, and like, the, the whole thing is like, if your hand is, is good, you can end on these cards, which stops it from, uh, which stops uh, Dark Ruler and uh, the other card from beating you. But when you get hand trapped, you can't always end with like Ava in hand with the Herald. So like getting this makes it to where it like is really easy to just uh, set up the board where it doesn't use for that. Uh, spells, I'm a mongrel and I play uh, two Medionis. Uh, it's really good. Uh, I played two Medionis last minute because I really, really wanted to see uh, if it would ever come up and it does it's really cool that like zeta like you have like a grand game and then especially now because you you end up summoning this a lot just to like synchro with it uh so just having a second one's really good and also it's because uh, the main reason is because the layerless deck plays dd pro in their combo foolish uh, novas and emergencies they're just more dry tron names Call by the Grave, uh, mandatory. Your deck loses the hand traps, so you have to like play through them. Uh, Dawn and pre prep. Uh, this, this, this engine lets you turn off your brain. You don't need to do anything special. You just kind of just like start your turn off with Ben 10, still have it in hand, and then you just do all your dry trunks underneath it. Uh, I think mean, you're crazy if you just don't play these cards. Uh, prep makes Ben 10 really good. Uh, uh, well, it switches Ben 10. But also, it adds back more rituals. Uh, it adds back the ritual spell, so it's like really good because you just end up making like a bunch of synchros. Uh, my only defensive card: three dark ruler, no more. Uh, playing droplet is like it, it's, it's it's like a fraudulent card because uh, droplet, even though you can drop it the drytron deck, um, it will still have double heralds, so you're still gonna lose. So you have to discard like three broken cards for Droplet to be insane. So Dark Ruler does everything that Droplet does, except you can't kill him. But when you play Drytron Mirror, you just try to break the board and set up a Morning Gates and the Magic Key unlocking. It just negates the Spell Trap. It has like a random effect where you uh, change the attribute of stuff, uh, but you can make it into like, uh, you can like beat PK because you stop them from something darts. And then uh, Extra Deck Side Deck. Uh, side Deck. Reboot, three twin for the trap decks. Uh, you have to play twin because, uh, like, honestly, you can play through almost every trap and that's not a floodgate, but then um, when you uh, get flipped order, it, it sucks. So, like, twin is the best answer to order. So, even though, like, Lightning Storm is, like, overall a better, not better card, but, like, a more actual answer. Nim, I was really scared of the Lairless deck. This deck's card's really good against Lairless deck. Uh, I don't play, uh, what's that dumb card called? Lancey anymore. So, it kind of sucks that you can't search this. Any, you can't search this a lot. But I summon, uh, what is that card called? Chaotic Ruler a lot. So, adding this is really good. Redraw, because you have to, for the mirror. And three cross out, because... 
Um, it's really good in the mirror, and it's really good against opposing trolls. And no one at my local plays Drytron, so I did not need to worry about cycle. Either. Everyone decides roll for some reason. And then uh, two droplet. It's uh, there to break boards, but mainly there so I can uh, drop. I can cross out their droplet. And then the extra deck. Very simple. Apo, I end on this all the time. This is really good going second, and it outs a bunch of Towers cards. Uh, just a generic one. Uh, just a generic link. The best, <laughs> the best extra deck monster, honestly. I like Primo. Um, I don't play Axis Code. I don't play Boral Sword because you just kill them. You just summon a bunch of monsters with over 2,000 attack. You don't need to summon Boral Sword usually. Uh, then Natis and Harold. This is the only catch about this deck is, honestly, I suck, and I think I need to play two Herald because it just makes it so easy to kill them on the crackback. But I play a bunch of Synchros instead. So I play uh, Chaos Ruler and I play Flur. These are really good because uh, when you have against Trap Deck, sometimes you search Herald of Orange Light and it just sucks. And you could turn this and turn this into this, and then this can like get back Herald if it gets Strike. And it's just like really good recursion every turn. That's really good. Uh, obvious, um, you know, just what starts off every combo. Uh, yeah, just uh, Form of Zero Zeus is really good. And Beatrice, because it is just Foolish Barrel and Lights. That's my deck. Right, is there anything else that you want to say? Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hey I'm Ed. Uh, shout out to uh, our Twitter channel, uh, Super Insane. Don't know the numbers for that last part. Um, yeah, shout out to Aaron, shout out to all my friends. Uh, shout out to Dom. He's been testing with me a lot every day, and uh, I'm not a Drytron noob, I think. Anymore. All right, thanks.